Magic 102.1 H Town's number one R&B station, home of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. KG Smooth, Tim's free mind. I got a free spirit in the studio with me. She's an artist that is uh, tearing things up and making music uh, since the scam demic started. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please welcome the lovely. And I mean, I am like. I am in awe of her beauty and her presence and her aura. Ladies and gentlemen, Breezy Casanova is inside the quiet storm. Welcome. <laughs> and, well, thank you for being here. Uh, who is Breezy Casanova? Um, wow. Okay. Um, you know, I'm an R&B singer. Uh, born and raised in Arizona, but I am in Seattle. And... I don't know. I'm pretty much me, free spirit, kind of. I love music. That's just how I express myself. So mm -hmm. I'm pretty much, I don't know, I'm chill. <laughs> so, so whatever you go through, you express that yeah. through your music. Yeah. You go, I like to. Some things ain't going to be like exactly, but when y'all hear more of like R&B and like real soul, soft music, um, that's kind of what I'm into. Like I need a, a vibe. Yeah, I see who some of the folks that I guess you listened to uh, growing up or who you were influenced by. Um, but who were your vocal influences growing up? Like, who was that artist that you were, you know, trying to mimic their run or, you know, get that, you know, get get their range or, or whatever, maybe? Who, who was that one that you listened to and studied? <laughs> Whose vocals did you study? Carrie was probably every song I learned from to the T. Um, back then, it was a lot of like you know, voice to men. The stuff my dad would listen to. Mm -hmm. My mom, she really did like I don't know if y'all know Pat Benatar too. Yeah. Um, I was really big on her because my mom actually sings. Okay. So she kind of got me into it, and then you know I did do church. I was a church girl, and um, from that it kind of like spiraled. You know, I had us work on it when I was younger two hours a day my family just set up everything for singing so I didn't really have a backup plan but when they started singing me Britney Spears and doing little videos and once I heard Mariah Carey it was like okay I feel like I could hit that I could do that yeah so. same Mariah was one that I uh whose vocals I studied because her um one her range is crazy yeah. but her control amazing how she can flip from full voice to her head voice and man just the whistle notes like all of that breath like that's very important so you you study it's hard it, it is hard, hard. it's um, hard i have like i have like an amazing team so it's like i have somebody like jono he does help me with diaphragm and um trying to do like different type of teas mm -hmm. and trying not to like you know, strain my voice out so much because mm -hmm. working on that high note, trying to switch from low to high, like, it, it takes the practice, you know. I've lost my voice thousands of times trying to hit one note. I've had to come back and redo it, and the next morning I got it. And then I can forget it next two seconds, so. When did you know that you had it? Because people can tell you, and you can do it, but when did you know that you had it? Um, I think it was when I was in church, and there, it was a time that I was very much into that, so mm -hmm. um, they wouldn't let me sing with the choir. So at first I thought, like, okay, maybe I'm not good enough to sing with their choir or something. They always had me do a solo. Mm -hmm. So when I started doing the solo... You know, I started noticing people were like, you know, they're listening to me. They're telling me I sound good. And I'm like, really? And then when the pastor did tell me like something so small as a pinky, has a voice this big, he's like, wow. And then so my parents started listening. They never gave me a ba backup plan. So yeah. <laughs> no backup plan. You're going to sing and this is what you're going to do. So I'm like, I can't, you know, work around anything. I only got a plan A right now. So mm. if this is what I want to do and I'm going to work on it, I knew that I had to. It was just way younger. For sure. We're talking to R&B songstress Breezy Casanova. <laughs> and we're going to come back. We're going to get into uh, her new single entitled Perfect and, uh, and talk about, you know, why she started music.
Magic 102.1. Show KG Smooth in the studio with songstress Breezy Casanova. I love the fact that you grew up in a church and singing because when I listen to a lot of these new artists, like there, there's no soul, and it doesn't seem like they have been technically trained or grew up singing in a church. It's just you know a straight monotone sound and melody with no color to it. And so I was having this conversation just what Saturday night with someone about. How a lot of new artists like the the church is missing in the singing. What do you think about like what's out today, mm. or who are you listening to? That's I mean, I still listen to nineties music. Like, Same. That's just my go to with everything because I feel comfort. But nowadays, it's you know, it's I want to bring R and B back. That's kind of how I feel. That's what. I feel like I can do and I want to do. So lately, it's just it's not there. Like Jane Aiko, she's carrying it. Summer Walker's mm -hmm. carrying it. Summer, yeah. Um, who yeah, else? Yeah, uh, Ari, Ari, uh, you know, Queen Ig, uh, LMA, all them. You know, they're still yeah. in that, which mm -hmm. is like great because they're holding on to something that legends and greats have started. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, you know, bagging on anybody new. Sure. You know, of course, you know, get it how you how you live, but. It's missing, and I just want to be a part of that to bring it back. Mm -hmm. So it says that you started music in 2020. Um, what was it that made you just want to start recording and putting out music? Because a lot of people, they do music, but they don't put it out. They might keep it for themselves or as a release. Like you said, you know, it's cathartic for you um, when you're going through something. What made you decide that you wanted to put it out and be this artist? Um, I mean, it's mainly like my lifestyle, so it's kind of like... You know, I'm getting older. I need a career. I need something that, you know, I love to do. And I can't find nothing else that I love to do but this. And yeah. I really needed a... I started it because I kept talking to everybody about it. Like, hey, you know what? I think I want to start getting the studio. I want to start doing this. So I didn't know nothing about it. I didn't know how to get into it. But um, I don't know. I just kind of started it. <laughs> yeah, just, just started going. Yeah, I just yeah, started. Just started. I started going. putting music out. Um I had to keep, I don't like hearing myself sing for some reason. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really hard to hear myself back, and I'm going to critique it every, so putting it out was a, a big cancer. step. <laughs> yeah. I, yes. Such a cancer. Like, I'm, <laughs> yes. I'm the same way. Like, it could be the slightest little thing. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't like it. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep. How would you describe your style? Are you more of a... Um, are you more of a vocalist when you stand there singing, or do you like to perform the choreography, the whole, you know, bells and whistles with the production? How would you describe your style? Um, kind of like if like Aaliyah and Gina Eco had a baby. Mm. Hobby baby. Okay. I don't know. So I like the, something you can smoke, chill to, but also a man can listen to it too. Like, it's definitely going to be for females, some songs, but, you know, this is guys finna all right cool I yeah can, i can mess with this yeah let's get into perfect talk about i like the song um <laughs> when Cass sent me the song and he was like i know that you're a vocalist and, <laughs> and you know you like you know vocal so you know don't be too hard don't be too rough i mean as soon as it started and i'm hearing the guitar riff i was like oh i was already sold and then you started singing and um i was like oh yeah so tell us about perfect so, uh, Perfect is something that um, I wanted to, I, I told somebody that, so I have like a perfect team that, you know, I told my manager, hey, I need somebody to help me with this, like, you know, I need a song that's gonna be like that one for me mm -hmm. and how I felt. I wanted to express this, this, that. So, you know, I got together with my team and told them exactly how I felt. We put ideas together. I had a songwriter that helped me. She's so, she's really good. And I told her exactly what I wanted. Like, my man's this. I don't like how I feel these days. Some days I feel like that. And I want to put that in a song, but sometimes I can't express it. So help me express this way. And when she was like, hey, this is what, you know, I got for you. Put it in your own way. And so once it's like, she did exactly and helped me express exactly what I'm feeling. So perfect is... To me, it's like one of my perfect songs. So, um, let's get into it then. <laughs> yeah. It's Breezy Casanova. Perfect. Magic World 2.1. Things are shit. 
Because I was, I was listening. I was listening. Um, I love the build. I l- you got one. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Breezy Casanova. <laughs> um, shout out your social for everybody. Um, yeah, it's Bree- Breezy underscore Casanova. Um, everything is in there from, you know, my music, my links, um, how to contact me for features, all that. So... You know, just go to my profile. I promise. Instagram is going to tell you everything. <laughs> for sure. Follow Breezy Casanova. Man. Thank you so much for your time you. and your energy. <laughs> Such a beauty. Coming back, I got more slow jams on the way. And next hour, sharing your love story being brought to you by Pizzazz Grill. Magic 102.1.